tonight has just been so, so special. Well, I'm, I'm sorry that we didn't do it sooner, but Frisco's been kind of... Mm. No, I understand. He doesn't talk about his family very much. He explains me for so much, and I... It's just not all my fault. I know, but he promises he doesn't hold that against you anymore. Well, I hope that's true. It would be a lot easier on you, wouldn't it? Boy, it's not me. I'm worried about it. It's him. I mean, if for anybody to have so much hate inside of him, it's really not very good. Yeah, but it's also no fun being hated. You're really so understanding, aren't you? I mean, you have no idea how much all this was meant to me tonight. Seeing Andrew's little granddaughter and getting time to spend with Tony and now Frisco. I mean, in spite of all our misunderstanding, uh, they're the only family I have right now, you know. Well, now you have me and Max, too. Mm, you are so sweet to me. <laughs> You won't forget to keep in touch with us, will you? Yeah, absolutely, I will. Oh, and don't forget about the information you're going to send me on that project. I'll do it as soon as I get back, okay? Okay. Yeah. Good. Well, I think we're just about done. Yeah. Oh, oh put this here. Okay. Let's go back and join the others. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Are you leaving already? Oh, yeah, I'm afraid But so. the night's young. <laughs> no, I really should be going now. Okay, I'll, I'll drop you. No, that's not necessary. Well, she's right. I mean, it's, it's a family day. Might as well just stay here with us. I, um, I'm gonna go out. Ruby, would you mind babysitting? Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thanks. So, Bobby, I'd like to have a word with you, if, if you don't mind. Uh, I can't right now. Where are you going? Oh, I have adoption business. Cook. Now? Do you want me to drop you off someplace? No, hey, that's okay. I don't know how long I'm it's going to be. Bobby, thanks again. I really had a wonderful time. You're welcome. Yeah, we'll have to do this again before you leave. Oh, I'd like to. I would. Frisco, uh, Felicia, great dinner. Yeah, good night. Okay. Good night. Oh, uh, well, I think I'm going to go upstairs and check on Lucas and BJ. Would you like me to look in on Max? Oh, that'd be great. Thanks, Ruby. You got it. I think things went pretty well, don't you? Yeah, fine. And I think Rita is a very nice lady. Mm-hmm. What did you talk about in the kitchen? Oh, girl talk, mostly. You and Tony and Max and, and your father. What did she say? Oh, nothing really. It was just chit-chat. Why? Is that a problem? No, no, it's not a problem. Frisco. It's not a problem. I don't, I don't want to discuss it. Yes, it is a problem, and it shouldn't be, because you're supposed to put that behind you. It is behind me. I said it was. It is. Then what's bugging you? Bobby. I feel bad for Bobby. What happened to Bobby? She doesn't know what's going on around her. That's what. What, what do you mean? Nothing. I, I shouldn't have Oh, no, have no, mentioned. don't do that to me. Don't start something and then just stop in the middle of it. Felicia, I don't want to talk about it. I shouldn't have mentioned it, so mentioned could we what? please drop what? it? I think it's time that you knew the truth. About what? About Rita Lloyd. Those are the cold, hard facts. I can't believe you went behind her back to do this investigation. Well, I had good reason. What, that you don't trust her? Do you always investigate everybody you don't trust? Well, this is a little different, honey. Everybody isn't trying to pry my family apart. She isn't. What the hell she isn't? I can't believe you included Sean in this. He... he did it as a favor to me. Does that favor include lying to me? That's... That's not the point here, Felicia. That file justifies everything that I did. Oh, how do you figure that? The payments into her bank account. What about them? They're all from older married men. So what? What do you mean, so what? Come on, it's obvious. Is it? Yes, do you need me to spell it out for you? Yes, please, spell it. Fine. 
Rita Lloyd is a high-class hooker, just what I thought she was. That's funny to you. It's funny that she's with my brother. She was hanging out with her daughter. I think you have a pretty warped sense of humor. She's not a hooker. You have the proof in your hands. No, I don't. Well, how do you explain the bank deposits? They're for her animal shelter. Her what? She has an animal shelter for abandoned and abused animals. She's had it since her father died. She told me all about it. <laughs> like Felicia, you might buy that, but I'm having a little trouble choking that one down. All those payments were made by older, married... Generous, concerned businessmen from San Francisco. She told me about those men, too. She did? Yeah, she did. She's going to send me some information about the project. Personally, I think it's a very nice thing. I wasn't, uh... Are you embarrassed? I would be if I were you. I'm gonna go upstairs and check on Max. You might wanna go over these facts. Hello, detective. How long are you gonna punish me? Until I'm sure you've learned your lesson. I've learned my lesson. Do you promise that you'll never, ever, ever do it again? Never. Promise? Swear. That's what you said about the WSB. Joining the police department. The investigation with Okay, Decker. okay, okay. I get your point. If I fall off the bed, you're dead. I'm just trying to apologize. You're making it a little tough. I'm not the one you're supposed to apologize to. What do I have to say anything to Rita for? She doesn't know anything. What if she finds out? Well, she shouldn't find out. But what if she does? Then I'll just take my medicine like a man. And you'll admit to everything? Mm-hmm. That you were stupid? It's putting it a little harshly. That you were suspicious? Mm-hmm. Yes. That you jumped blindly to conclusions? I didn't jump blindly. Yes. That you lied? I didn't... Yes. That you were a sneaker and you snuck behind everybody's back. Sneak? You're calling me sneak? I snuck a little. Mistrusted Tony? I was worried. <sighs> yes. That you coerced our very best friend into not only helping you, but to lying to your wife. I'll apologize to Sean. Do you think that'll do any good? I don't know. So what exactly have we learned here today? No more sneaking. Good. And if I ever do decide to sneak, to make you sure that you don't get so snitty. You forgive me? Good. Okay. <laughs> 